My son can't wait. Come work for me, I'll hook you up. He needs change today. Not tomorrow, not next week, and definitely not eventually. We've been waiting. I'm done. Sir, when you said... I say a lot of things. I'm a politician. But what you did so that low-income students could go to private schools. Well, I want to do that here. You have a better chance of winning the lottery than getting that done. Uzo Aduba plays Miss Virginia, the true story of an inner city mother who struggles to give her son a quality education. And joining me right now are two of the stars of Miss Virginia, Niles Fitch and Matthew Modine. Good morning. Good morning, Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Niles, your character in Miss Virginia, he's at a crossroads. He can either stay in school or head to juvie. Uh, and he was making those wrong choices because of the environment around him. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's not even a, a bad choice because do you see the environment he's in? He's put in a position to where he's going to a low-income school. Even if he's putting in all his effort, he's already at a disadvantage because of the lack of resources that he's given. When he sees these, you know, the people on the corner or stuff like that, they have the newest Jordans, they have what they need. Their family's being taken care of, and that's something that we need to change. Uh, it shouldn't be that a school is looked at as the last alternative because of the challenges that a person faces when they are born in an inner city or a place where the government isn't really caring about them like that. Uh, uh, so it, it, it's not that he was making the wrong choices. He was making... It's that uh, nature nurture story. Yeah. yeah the, the environment that he was in, you know, there wasn't the opportunities for education, which is what's so important about this film is mm -hmm. providing an opportunity for young people to have a proper education. And if the schools are underfunded, if they're overcrowded and, and the, the, the system's not working, it's not for the, the teachers. They, I have never met a teacher that doesn't want to improve the lives of children. There's some bad teachers, there's some bad cops, there are bad politicians, there are bad people in the world. But most people that I've met in, in my life that are educators don't get into that profession uh, not wanting to be the best pr teacher, the best educator that they can be. But, but sometimes the situation it, it is, doesn't work in their favor. So, uh, you know, for me, there is no more important thing than providing a, a good education for our children because they are our nation's future. The, 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 it, the more we invest in, in, in our children, the better the future will be because they, they, they will be the people who take the reins as, as, as the older generations go away and, and, and uh, uh, we're put out to pasture. <laughs> <laughs> mom, mom, what are you, what are you doing, mom? mom? Mom, please don't do that, mom. That's my money, please. It is not yours. You did not earn this honestly and you will never spend it. Stop, Mom, please, stop. Mom, what are you doing? Stop, please, please. Stop it. Ah! I hate you. I hate you, I hate you. And Uzo Double plays your mother, Virginia, and she does everything she can to keep you out of trouble, even burning your dirty money right there in the kitchen. Yes. Yeah, that was a lot of cash. <laughs> and an awesome scene to shoot. And Matthew, you play a politician, so you have a lot to say in this movie. And your hair, it, it's so crazy looking. It looks like a used car salesman. <laughs> uh, I went to bed with my head wet, and I woke up, and my hair was sticking straight up. And I thought that was the appropriate look for this guy. Because for, for me, he was, he was this guy who'd given up probably back in the 80s. You know, his clothes, he stopped buying clothes in the 80s. Everything, my pants were a little bit too short. My jacket was a little bit too... You know, my collar was a little bit too big and he'd just given up. And, you know, we, we, we have to remind ourselves that, that from the president on down, these are elected officials, they're public servants. And when you get elected to a, a, a position of, of a, like a governor, a senator, uh, a mayor, uh, a congressperson, that your responsibility is to those people who put you in that in that office and this man had forgotten that and it, it's because we live in a free and de democratic society uh, a person like miss virginia could come to that politician and remind him of his responsibility to serve the people 
And he had given up. Mm -hmm. You know, he'd fallen into his glass of scotch. He'd fallen into his game of golf. And she reminds him of that responsibility to fight the good fight. She lights the fire in his belly. And, uh, you know, this is not a white man saving a black person's story. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a human being reminding another human being of their responsibility to, to our children, to the future of our, of, of our country, to the future of our world. And, and uh, that, that's, that's a very, very important story to be telling today. And tell me about working with Uzo. She is just an acting tour de force, especially during that city council scene. She's just incredible. Yeah, uh, working with Uzo was a blessing because not only am I getting to work with such a great act actor, but I'm getting to also learn. Yeah. So, you know, when we're having scenes, like I said, with the, like you brought up with the, the fire and the, you know, the, which you were talking about, uh, that, that scene is 10 times easier and 10 times more exciting to do when you're doing it with such a great actor to where you can just bounce off of one another. Yeah. Uh, so getting to work with her was awesome. And that scene was awesome, especially because we got to see it yeah. <laughs> in person. I was just upset that I didn't have more scenes with Niles. Exactly. This, this is the future. This is the future <laughs> of the motion picture and television industry right Thank here you. sitting <laughs> beside me. Well, as the older generation, we welcome you too, Niles. Both of you, thank you so much for speaking to me today and best of luck with Miss Virginia. All right, thank, thank you. you very much, thank you. All right, you can catch Miss Virginia on the BET Network and for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at vegasfilmcritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.